And as we get ready to mark an end to the longest war in our history and American troops speed up their withdrawal from Afghanistan, there is a family living in tremendous fear. Fear that the last known American hostage held by the Taliban, a man that they love very deeply, may be left behind. That family now in an exclusive interview with our Ian panel with a message to President Biden. America's longest war is ending. The troops finally leaving Afghanistan. But one man won't be heading home. He's the last American hostage held by the Taliban, and there are grave concerns he'll be left behind. I think, I feel that if they leave a man behind that served this country for us for six years, I, I, I would think that, how could they sleep at night? You know, I mean, how are they sleeping at night knowing that they left a U.S. citizen behind, a U.S. veteran? I mean, I can't imagine. If they're pretty cold if, if, if you know, they're not doing their job because that's their job. Mark Frerichs is a U.S. Navy veteran. He was kidnapped in January last year. A civil engineer, he traveled regularly to Afghanistan on construction contracts. According to U.S. officials, he was abducted in Kabul after being tricked into attending what he thought was a business meeting. He's believed to be held captive by the Taliban's Haqqani network, a hardline wing of the movement that's captured U.S. and British citizens throughout the war. Almost 100 foreigners have been kidnapped over the years. Some have been sadly killed, but more are held for ransom and released. With most American military and special operations teams expected to be out by early July, Frerich's family fear it'll soon be too late to free him at all. Speaking exclusively to ABC News, his sister Charlene says the US will lose its leverage once the troops leave and should have made more efforts to rescue him in the 17 months he's been held captive. We can't do anything. We're relying on the US government to get my brother home. How can you not find somebody? I mean, I just... I just don't get it. Taliban officials privately acknowledged that Freerich was being held by them, telling U.S. Special Representative for Afghanistan, Zalmay Khalilzad, last fall, details about the condition of his health in captivity, which was also shared with Freerich's family. He said that he is healthy and well. And that's pretty much it. Um, he's healthy and well, and... Um, he has had some high blood pressure issues, and so and they, they, they have, he's seen the doctor for that, he's taken medication for that. During a visit to the White House by Afghan President Ashraf Ghani last week, the White House was asked if it had a message for Mark Frerich's family. The president's message is that he will continue to fight every day of his presidency to bring Americans home who are detained overseas, uh, in, whether it's in Afghanistan or any other country around the world. Again, we will have a diplomatic presence on the ground. We will continue to work closely with the government with security support, humanitarian support, and there needs to be continued a continued political process, ongoing negotiations. But Ashraf Ghani said the issue was never discussed in his meeting with Biden. The administration's now negotiating with neighboring Pakistan, believing its intelligence services will be able to put pressure on the Haqqani network to free Frerichs. Most of their hostages were held there. But Pakistan denies having that type of influence. Since America's deal with the Taliban, the violence has escalated in a growing climate of fear and chaos. The Taliban are advancing, taking over more and more strategic districts as the Afghan military abandoned bases and outposts. America's deal with the militants has brought no peace for the country and no hope for Frerich's family. And when it's just a U.S. diplomatic presence remaining, with few means to leverage concessions from the Taliban, Mark Frerich's fate will become ever more uncertain. You have the power to bring my brother home. Please get my brother home safely. We are relying on you. He's a good man. He deserves better. He does not deserve to be left behind. He's an American citizen, and I know that you, you would not leave an American citizen behind. So please, I beg you, do everything you can to get my brother home. 
Ian Panel for ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.